what we found, the co-chair of the event, uh, Bob Messner, he is really responsible making this show a great success because he's got a lot of hidden heroes, a lot of helpers to help bring it to where we are today. Bob, congratulations, 42 years of the Inventational. It's bigger and better every year. Yeah. Let the home viewers know what's happening right now at the Oli Fairgrounds. So this is our 42nd year doing a uh, invitation for the Skyline Drive Corvette Club. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. The weather's perfect. We have a great turnout. Probably a record number of cars here today. Approaching the number, maybe a little bit over 300 cars. And uh, we have a lot of vendors. We have live music. We have the Oli Fire Company serving food and a lot of people having a good time, and, and if you look around, you'll see, like I said, 300 cars of all makes and models, and everyone really having a great time today. Every car is a special car, because they all have a unique story. We're standing in front of one of those special cars right now. Bob, this is a very dear and near to your heart and your family. Tell us about this 1932 Studebaker. Great story, Bob. Uh, so my father was a uh, sheet metal uh, contractor, he was a very low-key uh, individual, never looking for any recognition or glory, but and he was just a common man. He had a passion for antique cars, especially Studebakers. So after he retired, uh, he elected to restore a 1932 Studebaker. When he brought it home, the fenders were rusty, they were bent it up. Uh, it was just a real, real project car but needing a lot of attention. So over a period, after we retired, over five and a half to six years in the back of our home, like around 1985, he began restoring this car. And step by step, and he said he worked on it almost every day. And it was his enjoyment after retirement. And he always said, to be able to restore a car like this to the level he did, you don't need a lot of money, you need some skills, a lot of friends to help you, but most of all, you need a wife that has a lot of patience. There you go. You that. That, she's the hidden hero there. She's the hidden hero. So through, after we restored it in 1990, 32 years ago, as a family, we took it for him around the state of Pennsylvania and outlying states, and he received his first uh, National Senior Award for this car. Wow, congratulations. So 32 years ago, this car was being restored. It's a 1932 Studebaker, and it's pretty cool that it's here today. It is one of the special lead cars on display. It's a showpiece. We're going to show the home viewers a little closer look. We'll take the camera around it, show you the interior. It's it's beautifully restored, and a lot of true love put into this vehicle. Yeah. And I'm a, right now, the story is after he restored it, he passed away in 2013. As a memorial to him, we donated the car as a family to the AACA Museum in Hershey. Uh, through wonderful volunteers at the museum, they elected, to, they elected to take it out of the museum for us, okay. transport it here, starting about and put it on display for thousands, minutes. hundreds of Thank people you. to enjoy. But I want to give recognition to the museum for all the volunteers that made it possible for this car to be here. Obviously, very important to me as a family uh, heirloom, and uh, very honored to have it at our car show today. Indeed, and, and Bob, your father, Fred, is shining down upon us with a lots of sunshine to show off the beautiful, restored 1932 Studebaker. Yep. Congratulations, son. Thank you.